Hey guys, what's up? This is Alex 777. Two two seven seven. No repair ammo. Ha ha ha. Those aren't worth anything, so I just took a bunch of worthless crap. Anyway, I'm gonna throw those away. Oh no no no! I wanna um. Uh, how to drop? How to drop? Uh, no. Is it shift? Ah, yep, shift. Yep. Goodbye. Anyway, let's go. Hello, brother. Yes? Can I help you? Uh, I must speak to Joffrey. He's upstairs. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Um. A letter to mother, huh? I'd read it, but it says I'd be stealing. <laughs> and I couldn't agree more. I mean, it's a letter to your mother. I wouldn't want anyone seeing it either. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Um. I brought the Amulet of Kings. Wait, no. No, 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 no. I sound irrelevant in both of these. I brought the Amulet of Kings. Would mean that I took it off the Emperor's body and ran with it just to get it to Joffrey, which would sound no, it didn't. Or the Emperor sent me to find you, which means that uh, he went. Now I'm going. The Emperor sent me to find you. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? I was there when he died. No. <laughs> no, that makes me sound like an asshole. <laughs> he gave me the Amulet of Kings. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? You want me to start from the beginning? No. <laughs> Tell the Emperor's last words. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. What? Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Well, I mean... Who is this Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. Well, considering... But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Well, you know, magical barriers can be taken down, or they can find a way through it, or they can blow a hole and just walk through it, which is probably the um, case with the Oblivion Gates. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When you an know, Emperor uh, is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. You know, more thing about it. That's probably what it is. I mean, um. They they're able to blow a hole through the magical barriers because the um, fires aren't lit, and you'll find out more about this, you know, in the future when we continue doing the main quest. But that's pro that's the reason, probably the reason, and the reason that all the uh, spikes pop up uh, in the Oblivion Gates is because that hell that hell or, or Oblivion has been uh, getting unkempt power just from all that. So that's probably the reason it just bursts out and just spreads. Anyway, the Emperor asked me to find his son. Click it. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. 
Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Where can I find Nuriel's son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvac, south of here. You must go to Kvac and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Right. Uh, I keep a few things assistance? here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Thank you. I want to read this. I'm just reading it. It's very interesting. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to... Well then... You're all ready for any freaking <laughs> uh, heavy armor dude that walks in. I'll take this stuff. <laughs> I am happy with my purchase, and I said farewell. Uh, also, if you talk to uh, where to go, anytime now. Is this you? I don't know Welcome, what he'll do. Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Piner, and this is Wayne and Priory, a monastery. Can I help you? Um. You're not the person I wanted, but Here, I don't know what he will. Perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I say you go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but know that our prayers go with you. Right. So now you see, uh, if you talk to everyone around the place, uh, my block skill is now increased. If you saw that. Uh, Bye. So my block skill just increased by that. You can just read books around and, you know, skills are increasing and everything. Um, Reading. I know that you are on an important mission for If you the talk blade. to him, Please, he will give you, you his horse. horse. Take mine from the Priory stables. And, uh, spoiler alert, he dies, so, you know, you just gotta keep the horse. <laughs> Go with Talos's blessings. Do not fail. And if you speak to the Dark Elf over here... I'm the shepherd here. Eranor's the name, and this is Waynon Priory. He will give well, you a repair I hammer. normally stay out of the affairs of the great folk that come through Waynon Priory to see Master Joffrey. But go ahead and take this hammer. You might have use of it, and I have others. Not much call for smith work around here in any case. Well, we both have better things to do than stand here all day exchanging idle gossip. Good day to you now. Now, if you're like me and you just fast travel everywhere, unless you absolutely have to, you don't exactly need the horse. Like, the horse is just there if you, you know, want to just, you know, actually go and go and go just random places and just... Which is going to be the case that I will need if I want to do all of the missions. So I will take him. I'll buy a better horse later on. I will take him. And we will fast travel with him to Kvach, where we need to go destroy an Oblivion Gate. Okay. Uh... Come on! Run while there's still time! The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed! I, I understand. Run? From what? God's blood! You don't know, do you? Well, you know what? Deidre overran Kvach last night! There were glowing portals outside the walls! Gates to oblivion itself! There was a huge creature! Something out of a nightmare! Came right over the walls! Blasting fire that swarmed around it, killing. The whole city can't be destroyed. Go and see for yourself. Kvach is a smoking ruin. All that's left, do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. Well, you know, you could be a bit, you know. How did you escape? It was Savly and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out. Right through the city gates. Savlian says they can hold the road. 
No. No, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can. I mean, it's an understandable. Oh, why is my horse looking that way? Um, let's see. I'll show you around. I'll that's a blacksmith. That's all I need to know is that that's a blacksmith. Anyway, um, they have a little camp, which is nice, and you can go inside those tents. And then that guy speaks blasphemy. Literally, he speaks against the gods in this case. Um. Wait, wait, no, I need to. All right, now you Stand can talk to back, me. Stand back, ah! This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. What, what what happened here? Well, I already know what happened here. The well, you do now. The only thing we can do, <laughs> we'll try to hold our ground. That's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. Um, well, I'd like to help. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you uh... sure? Okay, well, I'll do what, whatever I can. I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks on the ground where they were, with the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. Right, um... Good luck. It's so, a brave thing you're doing. This is the part where, um... My conjuration skill comes in handy. Because there are going to be a lot of enemies in there. Um... It all, this also comes in handy. There are going to be a lot of enemies in That's there. The ah! Like, a lot. And, um... I actually give you a person to work with. I'm on your side! You shut up. That was an accident. Okay, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, uh, so this is the Oblivion Gate, that's a Claymore, and that's a, a very charred body. And this is me kicking at you. Ah, God, get out of my way. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna... I really like, um, AIs, but not when they're being so freaking ignorant that they get in my way, in the way of my blade. Did I just lag there? I think I did. What? No, 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 no. Oh. No, you weren't supposed to die. Oh. Um. Um. Ha. Uh, and, uh, resurrect. There it is. So he's alive now. <laughs> he is not supposed to die. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, he he is mortal and he, he can't die. Night. I never thought I'd see another friendly face. Yeah. The others. Taken. They were taken to the tower. 
Yep. It's all right. Captain Maddie has sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. I managed to escape, but the others are strewn across that bridge. They took many and off to the big tower. You've got to save him. I'm getting out of here. All right, now you can have him um, uh, follow you and help you on your mission, but he will die no matter what. I don't know how much protection you give him, he will die. So I am just going to have him go back because he will help you in the siege for Kvatch later as one of the missions, and it gives you good loot, so. The captain is still ho All right, I'll try to get out of here and let the captain know what's going on. Right, so all this dialogue is slowing me down. I'm gonna... Um... Switch to my cold touch. I need to have hotkeys for those, but I don't, so... What, what are you... Ah! Haha, -ha, jumped! Hey, I'm right here! Look at me when I'm hitting you! It's a general rule of thumb! Look at the person that's attacking you. Not the person that's coming towards you already. Oh, I hate it when I can't see my enemies. Oh, hi there. Aha. Don't you just love it when you're dodging in real life, trying to dodge the freaking... Ah, ah, okay, you barely hit me there, Sonny J. Oh, right. My skeleton's not coming to help me, so... For a few seconds there, I thought if you were going to help me, and wow, I was like really close to death right there. I have to remember, I'm not in God mode. Hooray! Ah, oh, God mode. Gotta love it. Anyway. Well, that could kill me. Um, ain't that right, random boulder thing? Really, any animate, any object that's animate uh, or moving can kill you and or hurt you. Mostly kill you. Wow, really? That I was really fast for me to level up. I think about it. Ah, okay. Oh, don't want to die. Running. Ow, God, why me? Oh, thank God. I'm happy I have you. Wow. I'm going to die in here. <laughs> do, 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 do. Maybe I should become a full-time frickin' mage. Because then I could just rampage. Right. Um. I know that he won't be able to get, get there. So I'm just gonna hit him. From over here. Wow! Dude, you just wrecked his shiznits. I would like you to know that I'm down here and you're up there. You're not gonna be able to get me. I have the advantage. Technically, if this were a full-on sword battle, you'd have the advantage. But seeing as you don't... I'm just gonna take the time here to wreck your shiznits. If I can get up here, I'll wreck him now. Stay put! Wow. God, what is my difficulty level set at? I mean, seriously. Enemies! Near- oh god. Yeah. I am unseen. I am very sad. <laughs> well... Crap. I mean, if you think about it, my only strong point is my magic, and... Oh, wow! Look at the time! Um, well, it looks like that's, uh, all for today. Um, hello...